just to make it very clear in this part we are actually going to make the category.php file and delete post.php so category.php first we want to display data based on the category so we're going to get posts no we do not need post ID what we need instead is a category ID which is specified in the URL so we need to edit get posts and we essentially do the same thing as with the post ID so if is set get ID get ID equals int get ID and query dot equals where get ID equals um, get ID it may be slightly better to use categories dot ID here but get ID is just fine and now we need to whoops display all those posts and that's exactly the same as in index.php so I'm going to be lazy here and I'm going to copy this entire thing paste it in here now it would be probably be even better to create a function to do this for us because we are now doing the exact same thing twice which is a bad programming practice but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna do it like this to um, to keep the focus on my SQL bit when we display this now this is something you do not need to see that was a topic in which we discussed the code that I wrote for the blog thing here pretty useful and that topic is actually um, where I got pointed out to this little technique anyway let's try to stay on topic a bit when we go to say the uncategorized um, category which has an ID of one oh category oh that's comma PHP obviously not what we want so let's get into index.php and there's the culprit dot PHP of course we need to do the same thing in category.php refresh this and now do it again and there we have it everything for the uncategorized category then we go to PHP for example and we only get this one now I'm going to add another category test and then return to index and I'm going to add a post to it and it's just a post post and I'll add it to test there we have it and now I'm going to delete a category I'm going to delete test now when I go back to the index we see that we do not get the test post at all even though it is there in get ID uh, number six so and we see it's gone here too and we see that this does not actually seem to work now as I said 
this is probably a great challenge for you to do. This was just something I put in theory, didn't even test it to be honest, so I'm just going to get rid of it and yeah, think of me as a jerk if you want, but try this yourself. It will be some good training for you. Alright, so we have a few more things to do, which is delete post and edit post. So we're almost done. Let's go to delete post and this is essentially the same thing as the delete category. So I'm just going to copy that code and paste it in. Remember though that this of course needs to be posts and we do not want to redirect to the category list. What we want to link to instead is just the index. And there's nothing more to it. Once again we do almost the same thing twice but again for the sake of simplicity I'll just do this. So I'm going to add another test post, test test. There we have it. We also see it on the index. Now I delete it and it's gone. Let's see now, can we do edit post.php? I suppose we could. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to check if everything works the way it's supposed to work. I think add category didn't really work. No, it redirects back to add category.php. So I'm going to change that. Oh right, it does now that's interesting, it doesn't even redirect at all. So we do header, location, and I'll do add post.php. Then we kill the script. So now when we add another one, say XML, and there we have all of them. And everything else worked just fine. So in the next part I'm going to start and hopefully also immediately finish the editpost.php file. And when we have that done we have finished our blog, ugly as it may be. So join me in the next part.